So the other day I was busy procrastinating when I came across this website called Turn the Yellow that basically turns you into a Simpson. And I thought, huh, nice. So naturally I scrolled down, ready to be transformed into a fictional character when I noticed the service cost $65. And I went, in this economy? Oh hell no! And as I stood there, thinking about all the financial choices that led me to this moment, I remembered, wait, I'm an artist, I can turn myself yellow. And that's exactly what I did. I decided to draw myself in the iconic Simpsons living room, and I thought, I have a couch. So I decided to take some reference pictures of myself. I didn't have anyone to sit on the couch with me and my photos were looking really awkward so I decided, you know what, I'm the center of attention in this drawing, I might as well act like it. Perfect. I got up and since it was sunny I decided to draw outside. I cleaned trash that falls daily from my upstairs neighbors because I wanted to look presentable in this video. I sat down to draw and I tried filming but the glare was too strong, so I'll show you a screen recording instead. I decided to start with the background and I can't draw perspective to save my life so I used Procreate's perspective guides to give the illusion that I actually understand how space works. After sketching for a while, my neighbors started playing really awful music, so I went, Hey! Can you keep it down? I'm trying to turn myself into a Simpson. They didn't care. But you know what? I was hungry anyway, so I got up and I started preparing to make myself some lunch. One eternity later. After having lunch, I decided I didn't want to deal with the glare or my neighbors anymore, so I just finished my drawing inside. I finished the sketch, refined the background, and at a certain point I had to make my own brush because none of the brushes that I had were what I was looking for. They changed the thickness and, as we all know, the line in the Simpsons drawings is very consistent.
So I continued cleaning up my drawing and then I finally got to my character. I used reference for both of the background and my character. When it came down to draw my character, I just had to notice what made the Simpsons so recognizable. And apart from the obvious yellow skin, that was the huge round eyes and the lack of hard edges. So that's exactly what I did. When I finished the line art, it was time to color, and I basically just took colors from the original picture because, you know, I wanted to make it look as close as possible to the original drawing, to the original Simpsons. And then I just chose some colors for my clothes. And so there you have it, that's how you turn yourself into a Simpson and save yourself $65 in the process. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one, bye!